What's going on Halo fans? Luke the Notable here. In this video, we're going to answer the question, what if the Halo Reach Falcon was in Halo 5 Warzone? Before we get into this video, let's first explain some of the history behind the Halo Reach Falcon, because I know not all of you played Halo Reach when it first came out. The Halo Reach Falcon first debuted as a transport vehicle in the first mission of the Halo Reach campaign. After that first mission, we saw tons of different variants of the Falcon used in tons of different settings. There was, of course, the Transport Falcon. There was a Falcon that had a grenade launcher, which was incredible good and there was a falcon where the pilot had control of some weapons and then we also got the standard multiplayer falcon with the guns on the side but no pilot guns i think bungie made it easy on us this time i think all of these could be variants of the falcon and maybe even some other variants sprinkled in there as well to put into halo 5 warzone but think back was the falcon good in multiplayer if you type in halo reach falcon overkill in youtube right now well don't don't do it right now watch this video and then maybe you know do it later not right now but if you type in Halo Reach Falcon Overkill on YouTube, nothing actually comes up of anyone getting any multi-kills using the Falcon turrets. When I look at my own gameplay stats for Halo Reach, it says that I have 100 kills with the Falcon turret and only one death, and I find that pretty hard to believe. I think that's campaign numbers. I, I just, I can't believe that. And thinking back, it was a good vehicle, but pretty difficult to use due to multiple things. First off, it had guns on the side of the Falcon, making it pretty difficult to pilot in regards to the gunners. Compare the Falcon to the Warthog, which has a stationary 360 degree gun on the back, whereas a Falcon can only shoot 180 degrees or less, and only on one side if you only have one gunner in. The Falcon was easy to fly, but it made maneuvering the Falcon so that your turret guys could get a good shot at the enemy very difficult. It also wasn't the most maneuverable of the vehicles. I mean, if you think of other air vehicles, Banshees right now have Banshee tricks, Phaetons can boost horizontally pretty quick to dodge things like lasers and rockets, and even ground vehicles can move very quickly and turn on a dime, and the Falcon was a very clunky machine. And I think with the power available in Warzone right now, it may be pretty difficult to keep in the air. Imagine the Falcon like a big clunky wasp, and then imagine that you wreck that wasp late game. There's going to be so much stuff out in the battlefield that you're pretty much killed instantly if you wreck a basic wasp late game. I think the Falcon might see similar things. The guns were good though, it was easily one of the best aspects of the Falcon and they were balanced well. If higher level Falcon variants were introduced with upgrading the guns, you could go a long way with it. Especially if 343 took the Falcon and turned it into more of a heavy gunship, whereas the Wasp is more of a fast moving, kind of light gunship, the Falcon could be kind of like the UNSC's Phaeton. This could make a lot of sense if one of the Falcon variants had a forward facing gun that the pilot could use and then also gun seats that people could jump in as well and be extra firepower. I mean hey, any gunship that has three guns on top of it should be able to take down most threats on the ground pretty easily. Even if someone does have a laser or rocket launcher, you should have enough firepower and if you're vigilant enough, you should be able to kill him. And thinking about it now, grabbing two friends, wrecking a falcon, and just going to town on the enemy sounds like so much fun. You know, one thing that I say in all of these videos that I've done about this series is that Warzone is a simulation, and if it's a simulation, because we are in reality, it should be the most fun mode. We should try to pack the most action and fun into this mode because it's not technically happening. And the Falcon wasn't necessarily that great, but it does resonate with a ton of Halo fans, and just because of that, it should have been in the game. The Falcon should have come out with the Memories of Reach Rec Pack drop. The Memories of Reach Rec Pack drop came out with a bunch of different Reach armor and the Phaeton Helios for some reason. Before this Rec Pack drop came out, a lot of people thought that the Phaeton Helios was actually going to be the Falcon, and many people were very disappointed when it turned out to be the Phaeton Helios. Yeah, because you remember that scene in Halo Reach where Carter flew a Phaeton Helios into a scarab. Noble, you've got a situation. Mother, we can get past this, sir. No, you can't. Not without help. Commander, you don't have the firepower. I have the wreck level. Silent cop. Wreck confirmed. Off. You're on your own, Noble. <laughs> I think overall, the biggest problem with bringing the Falcon into Halo 5 Warzone is going to be balancing. If you think about it, we have air vehicles pretty early on in Warzone. Starting at level 4, you can wreck a Wasp, at level 5 an Oni Wasp, and level 6 a Hannibal Wasp. At level 5 you can get a Banshee, 6 a Sword Banshee, and then 7 you can get the Temple and the Ultra Banshee. So basically starting at level 4, you have access to pretty good air vehicles. And of course at the high end, at level 7 and 8, you have access to the Ultra Banshee, like I said before, but also the Phaetons, which are insanely powerful. 
You also have to take into account that this is a wreck that you need someone else in order to access its full potential. Now sure, there could be a Falcon variant where the gunner has control of some sort of guns. However, I don't think that should be the only variant of the Falcon. There should be a variant of the Falcon that doesn't have any pilot gun control like we saw in the Halo Reach multiplayer. You would have to get friends or other Spartans, random Spartans on your team, to get into the side seats and operate the guns for you. Knowing this, you'd have to adjust the Falcon's wreck level accordingly because you can't just wreck a basic Falcon and start getting kills with it, you need to pick up some teammates. You also wouldn't want to have the Falcon's wreck level be too low. If it was too low, you could have air superiority early on in the game, because the Falcon is a pretty stable gunship. Two turrets on the side can give you a lot of firepower early on, especially since there isn't much consistent anti-air until level 4 wrecks when you get the Spartan laser. And I think for this reason, the Falcon, the basic Falcon, the one we saw in vanilla Halo Reach multiplayer should be a level 4 wreck. Yes, the basic Falcon would have a little bit more firepower than the Wasp and they would have the same wreck level, but remember that the Wasp can be piloted by a single person. With the Falcon, in order to get all of the firepower out of it, you would need at least three people. So I think that's totally fair. As far as other variants of the Falcon go, I think there should only be two. The basic version that we just talked about, the level 4 one, and then a high-end gunship version. Maybe instead of standard guns on the side, we have the grenade launcher that we saw in the Halo Reach campaign. And then of course, the pilot would also have access to some weapons as well. This would greatly improve the firepower of the Falcon, making it easily able to tango with things like the Banshee Ultra or even maybe a Phaeton. Maybe you could give it a classic tiger shark paint job like the old Halo 3 flamethrower. I think that'd look pretty sweet. I think it'd be perfectly appropriate for a high-end Falcon variant to be a level 7 wreck. That would put it on par with the Banshee Ultra, the Phaeton, and the Temple Banshee. The UNSC needs a high-end air vehicle, and I don't think the Hannibal Wasp cuts it. It's good, it's got a lot of offense, but seriously, it just gets taken down way too easy. One arc light into one of the engines can kill you instantly, even if you're in a Hannibal Wasp with Wheelman on. Honestly, I think we're very far away from seeing the Pelican in Warzone because of how big it is and of just how overpowered it is. Remember that level in Halo 4 where you drove a pelican and just destroyed everything. But anyway guys, tell me down below what you guys think would be the best way to soup up the Falcon for Halo 5 Warzone. I want to hear your wreck variant ideas for the Falcon. This is honestly one of the most requested videos on this series that I get. Also, if there is anything else you want me to go into on this series, please comment that down below as well. I have gotten a ton of suggestions already and I'd love to hear some more. If you liked this video and want to learn more about Halo, one of the easiest ways is with Audible. Audible is a service from Amazon that offers a massive amount of audiobooks to its subscribers, and Audible is currently offering a 30-day audiobook service. You'll get access to two free audiobooks, and yes, all of the Halo novels are on audiobook and available right now. I personally like listening to these audiobooks while online playing some Halo, and of course, you can cancel any time. If you're interested in learning all about the Fall of Reach or a resident expert on what the ladies like, go down to the link in the description and to sign up for your absolutely free 30-day trial of Audible. And if this offer didn't already sound like the most notable thing you've ever heard, the two books you get with the trial are yours to keep forever, even if you cancel. So click on that link down in the video description to get your two free audiobooks with Audible completely risk-free. I want to thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. I make tons of videos like this one where I analyze Halo 5 and all aspects of Halo in general. I want you all to stay notable. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.